हेलो स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू द इंग्लिश क्लास एंड दिस इज़ द सेवेंथ एंड द लास्ट सेशन ऑफ द चैप्टर इवेंस ट्राइज एन ओ लेवल सो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ लेट्स कंटिन्यू लेट्स कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम पेज नंबर एटी नाइन एंड लाइक अ फूल आई प्रजेंटेड यू विद डैट लिटिल पीस ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन ऑन अ प्लेट सो द गवर्नर कॉल्स हिमसेल्फ अ फूल एंड ही सेज दैट ही हिमसेल्फ हैड प्रोवाइडेड हिम ऑल द इंफॉर्मेशन द इंफॉर्मेशन स्टूडेंट्स डू यू रिमेंबर देर वॉज अ फोन कॉल फ्रॉम एग्जामिनेशन बोर्ड एंड इट वॉज सेट बाई दैट समबडी हैड फॉरवर्ड एंड टू पुट द करेक्शन स्लिप इन साइड द क्वेश्चन पेपर एंड इट वॉज मैंडेटरी मैंडेटरी टू प्रोवाइड दिस इंफॉर्मेशन टू द एग्जामिनी so the governor had himself provided this information to the examiner he had uh, provided this correction slip to the examination uh, to the examinee mcleary actually this was the correction slip that was providing the information regarding the hotel and the uh, time of the examination when it had started so that mcleary and evans could be escaped from the jail so uh, now let's continue well somebody did so you see sir that correction slip killed two little birds with a single stone didn't it the name of the hotel for me and the exact time the exam started for for now this was the correction slip that provided him the information of hotel and the starting of the exam the governor noted it's a pretty common word here the pretty common word is the name of the hotel good job it's it is a pretty common sir or i had never have known where to come to would i नाइस नेम दो जम गोल्डन इन लवेन हाउ डिड यू नो विच गोल्डन लाइन इट वॉज देयर इज हंड्रेड्स ऑफ दैम नाउ गवर्नर सेट दैट इट वॉज अ नाइस नेम जम गोल्डन इन लवेन दैट वॉज द सेंटेंस दैट वॉज स्पोकन बाई एग्जामिनी एक्चुअली ही हैड शोन दैट एट दैट टाइम एज ही वॉज करेक्टिंग इवेंट्स बाय सेंग दिस सेंटेंस बट एक्चुअली ही वॉज प्रोवाइडिंग हिम द नेम ऑफ द होटेल एंड देन Evans is still confused that how did he come to know that he had come to the same hotel because there are hundreds uh, hundreds of the hotels the, uh, having the names golden line same as you evans index number 313 center number 271 remember six figures and if you take an ordnance survey map for oxfordshire you find that the six figure reference 313 oblique 271 lands you bang in the middle of chipping note now governor said that it was very easy to find the uh, place of the hotel where it is situated actually he was he had heard the conversation between mcleary and evans while he was mcleary was telling him to fill the entries of the answer sheet and he had pro- uh, given him the two figures that was 313 and 271 and now governor says that when he found from the survey map 313 oblique 271 it landed him to it landed him in the middle of chipping note and it, it was very easy to find the location of the hotel ye yeah, you are right who we had hoped you would run off to newbury we did well that's something i suppose now ivan says that he had hoped that he would go to newbury and governor also agreed that he had surely first of all he had gone to newbury he had found him there but he was not there that question paper evans could you really understand all that german i could hardly but then next question of the governor was that he was asking to evans was he able to understand all that german that was inside the question paper and actually the governor was not able to understand this language na of course i couldn't i knew roughly what it was all about but we just hoped it would throw a few spanners in the works you know sort of muddle everybody a bit even now evans also agreed that he also didn't know about this language he could hardly understand it and also he was sure, he was very sure that this uh, language would cause uh, cause a problem it may delay to their plans it was just like a confusion sort of muddle means here confusion and throw a few spanners in the works means here to cause a delay or problem the governor stood up tell me one thing before we go how on earth did you get all that blood to pour over your head now governor stood up but now still he wanted to ask one more question from evans he asked him how he was able how he was successful to get the blood on over his over his head evans suddenly looked a little happier now evans became uh, happy as the governor was asking him such question clever sir very clever that was 
how to get a couple of pints of blood into a cell pints pints means here a unit to measure liquids when there is none there to start off with and when sir and when the invigilator shall we say gets searched before he comes in yes sir you can well ask about that i and i do know i do know means i do not know if i ought to tell you after all i might want to use that particular then he stopped he did not complete the sentence now he became happy when the question was asked how he was able to put the blood on his head over his head then he said that it was very clever of him and it was not easy to bring a couple of pints of blood inside the cell but when the invigilator was searched for uh, before he entered the cell actually he had brought the invigilator uh, had brought the blood inside the cell and then he uh, he did not complete the sentence and he said that i don't know how uh, if i he would tell him or not and then he did not complete the sentence as he was feeling that he might use this trick in any another plan also anything to do with a little rubbing for piles perhaps evans grinned feebly clever though wasn't it but now governor himself gave the answer that he, the blood was brought inside the cell by the invigilator uh, through the rubber ring for piles as he had uh, invigilator had said uh, mcleary had said that he needs pile he needs rubber ring for piles that it may cause him trouble the, that's why he had brought little rubber with him but now through the rubber ring he had brought the blood inside the cell then evans uh, smiled and he said that it was very clever of him must have been a tricky job sticking a couple a couple of pins now you have got it wrong sir no problem about that no but now governor said said that still it is a tricky job to stick a couple of pins on the head but ivan said that it's you are wrong that it's not a problem now it's the clotting you see now he said that there was a trouble why uh, how he would be able to clot the blood that's a big trouble we got the blood easy enough pig's blood it was from the slafter's house in kidlington but he said that they had got the blood very easily and they got it from the slafter's house in kidlington but to stop it clotting you have got to mix your actual blood evans took a breath with one tenth of its own volume of 3.8% rhizodium citrate didn't know that did you sir but now he said that there was a problem that it should be stopped to clot and for that they had to mix the actual blood of the human being in with the blood of pig's blood and then he said that with one tenth of its own volume of 3.8% rhizodium citrate they had mixed the blood and that's why the blood had clotted they had stopped it to clot the governor shook his head in a token of reluctant admiration Reluct reluctant means unwillingly now the governor wanted to admire his cleverness but he but he didn't want unwillingly he shook his head we learn something new every day they tell me come on my lad but after uh, at last he said that every day we learn something and now he had learned one no, new, uh, new thing from events and then he told, uh, tells him to come with him events made no show of resistance and side by side the two men walked slowly down the stairs now they went down stairs tell me events how did you manage to plan all this business you have had no visitors i have seen to that you have had no letters but still governor is confused with some uh, something and then he asked a question that how ivan managed to escape from the jail whereas he had no visitors and also he had not got any letters i have got lots of friends though what's that supposed to mean me german teacher for a start but now ivan said that he had many friends and he uh, started from the german teacher as german teacher was also his friend you mean but he was from the technical college was he ivan was almost enjoying it all now our check up on him sir but now governor said that the te german teacher was from technical college but ivan said that he was not from technical college college he was his own friend and he had then he asked the question he puts the question to governor had he ever checked up on uh, the, the the german teacher god almighty there is far more going on than i always will be sir everything ready asked the governor as they stood by the reception desk the vans out the front sir said the pretty blonde receptionist ivan's winked at her 
winked means he uh, looked at her quickly and she winked back at him it almost made his day now governor came to the reception and he was uh, asked from the reception desk if everything was ready the receptionist told him that there was van out in the front a silent prison officer handcuffed the recaptured evans handcuffed means he shackled him the silent prison officer was there with uh, standing there and he recaptured evans with shackles and together the two men clambered awkwardly into the back seat of the prison van clambered means they both climbed with difficulty the two person means here evans and the silent prison officer who was standing there who had handcuffed the evans they both climbed the van see you soon evans it was almost as if the governor were saying farewell to an old friend after a cocktail party but the governor did not go with them in the van and he now wished uh, evans he told him that i will see you soon and he was wishing him just like he was bidding farewell to the old friend cheer you sir i hear i was just wondering i know your german's pretty good sir but do you know any more of these modern languages not very well why but before uh, leaving the place evans asked the german uh, asked the governor if he knew any other language except german and he if he knew any uh, other modern language but governor said that not very well and then he asked he said that he didn't know any language and then he asked the question why he was asking evans settled himself comfortably on the back seat and grinned happily nothing really i just happened to notice that you have got some o level italian classes coming up next september that's all Evans. Then he uh, sat comfortably in the back seat of the van, and then he started uh, smiling. And then he asked, "There is nothing to ask about that. I was, I just wanted to know that if he knew any uh, language, O level Italian classes, because that was uh, exam was going to held up the next September. Perhaps he won't be with us next September, Evans. But governor said that he would not be with them in the next September." James Roderick Evans appeared to ponder the governor's words deeply no perhaps i want he said James Roderick Evans it was the full name of Evans now he said that he started thinking and also he he thought and after uh, some time he gave reply that perhaps he would not be uh, he would not be with them in the next september as a prison van turned right from chipping norton on to the oxford road the Hither to silent prison officer unlocked the handcuffs and leaned forward towards the driver for Christ's sake get a move on it won't take them long to find out now as the prison van turned right from chipping norton on the oxford road the the silent prison officer who had shackled who had handcuffed evans he unlocked the shackles of evans and he leaned forward towards the driver and he told him to take a move on Where do you suggest we make for us the driver in a broad scots accent now students underline this word broad scots accent scottish language was spoken by it was the language of macleary who was the priest who was the parson who was uh, pretending to be examinee and now the sentence was again spoken by the same person actually he was a prison officer and the driver they both were the friends of evans now he asked him where he would like to go now what about newbury suggested evans then evans suggested that they would go to newbury now again evans was successful in escaping from the hotel escaping from the jail now in the last it is shown here that the person the two person who had come with the driver, with the governor to arrest evans actually they were not the Uh, assistants of governor they were the friends of evans it was the silent prison officer and the driver they both were the friends of evans and also these two friends had helped him in escaping from the jail now at the at last he was able he was successful in uh, in escaping from the jail and it was the fourth time he escaped from the jail so students this is all about the chapter and i hope you have understood okay students goodbye and have a nice day